Hey there, Well Watchers. My name is Wifey Well, and today we're back play- Did that count? No, that didn't count. Today we're back playing some more of Nancy Drew, The Haunting of Castle Malloy. And it has been about two weeks since I recorded for this, so hopefully- Get over here, you little sh I'm trying to- Apparently we were trying to collect sheep. How close do I have to be? No, that's a ripoff. Scoop. God dang it. I don't remember exactly what all we were doing. Find all ten of Mr. Delaney's sheep. Lock them in the paddock. Paddock? Paddock? Like paddock? Okay. Okay, that's close enough. So right now we're trying to find sheep. Beyond that, I do not know what we're doing. Thank you for walking up to me. Oh. This is very interesting, I must say. I have been really enjoying this one so far, and this is part three today. And will this be the finale? I am unsure. I would think. Um, just because there aren't a lot of, like, puzzles left unsolved, but... Oh, I feel like if they run right up to you, it shouldn't count as them getting scared. Okay, and I saw one over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Riveting gameplay. Um, okay, three more, but I don't hear any. Oh, but yeah, I was very sick last week, so now it's been two weeks since I've done anything in this game, and, uh... Hopefully it doesn't take us very long to get back into the swing of things. Oh. Yay! Now what? You still have to do that. Oh, well, I thought I okay. Uh it was up here somewhere. I do remember we got a map now, which is really helpful. It just said 9 out of 10. Did you guys notice that? Where are the sheep? Now I'm worried it's at 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's at 9 out of 10. What a damn rip. That was weird. We were at 10. Did they like escape after a while? Oh God, that would be awful. Come on, Nancy. These sheep wrangling days aren't over, apparently. Problem is, I don't hear any. Oh, oh, I hear something. I hear something. This way? Here, sheep, 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 sheep. Sheepy sheep. Are you an invisible sheep? Whoa! Get your ass back in there. Now we gotta hustle. Still says 10 out of 10 this time. Good. Very loud in here. So do I need to shear them? Can't check that off yet. Alright, well at least we it's registering we have all ten sheep. There. The paddock's all locked up. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, let's go back to Mr. Delaney then and we will 
Wait, I can't just walk through? I thought I could have swore I could just walk. Oh, okay. Ask about Max luggage. And then ask to share a sheep so that we can do a doll. It's coming back to me now. It's coming back. And then we learned that we can fast travel like this. Tis convenient. Hello, my friendly drunk. The sheep are tucked away in the barn, then. They sure are. I knew you could do it, lass. Will you be wanting something else from me, then? Since you're going to share the sheep that are in the barn tomorrow anyway, would it be okay if I shared one of them tonight? You know how to shear a sheep, do you? Well, no, but I need some raw wool, and I figure it can't be that hard. I'm willing to let you give it a try, but you'll not be finished till you've filled three bags. Do I have your word on it? Three bags of wool. You got it. All right, then. The book there in the barn will tell you how to operate all the equipment. Oh, and to get a sheep into the shearing station, just blow this tune on your whistle. <laughs> Read the instructions, blow the whistle, and you'll be adding sheep shearing to your list of talents in no time at all. What about? I what about the what the 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 what about the luggage question? All done. He didn't say. This is some bull crap. Some total bull crap. Well, whatever. I guess I work for free now. <sighs> That's okay. Now let's see if we can shear some sheep without killing them. Um, my knowledge of shearing sheep is as follows. In Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, the sheep get dirty. You take them to the water and you wash them off. Then you get out your clippers, you go snip, snip, and bam, there's a pile of wool on the ground. Beyond that, I don't know anything. And he said there's a book. No book. It's so loud in here. This is not a book. Where's the damn book? Unless he means this. Y'all get in there. Gosh, I feel like we're gonna anal probe them. Okay, D-A-L-Y, 19. And then yellow, so seven, 19. Emotion, how can you tell the emotion? I would say panicked. Okay. Microchip, display the group color and family on the screen. Carefully observe the emotional state. Use the chart below. Add the three values and enter the sum into the woolly no more. Oh god, we have to do math? 7 plus 19 is 26 plus 16 is uh, 42. I hope. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Oh, yep, they're getting anal probed. Oh no. Oh dear. What the hell? Now that's an interesting look. It's a unicorn -y. Does that mean I did it right? I don't I guess. Okay, that's is that supposed to be brown? It looks different than the yellow. So 6 plus 23, 29. What would we call this one? He looks playful. So maybe happy? Okay. 6 plus... 23, 29, plus 12, 41. Uh-oh. I guess I messed that one up. 
Oh no, we killed a sheep. Well, I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe my math was wrong? I'm not good at math. This guy is definitely freaking out. Okay, blue, nine, plus 19, 28, plus panicked, uh, 38, 4, 44. Oh my gosh. Is that right? She didn't say I messed it up. So I think I've done two. Do I have my three bats? Still have to do that. Check. Okay, then what's taking the dang sheep so long? One bag down, two bags to go. Oh. That's stupid. Yellow is seven. Keen, 20, 28. He just looks to be sitting there. All right, we'll do calm. So, 28, 39. I guess that's right. Red for Ronan twenty one. He's freaking out. Is he bleeding? I feel like I hear extra. Okay, let's do four plus 17, 21 plus 15, 36. He's either panicked or bleeding. Ah, damn it. The ones that are panicked are panicked for a reason, apparently. How is he going to feel about that? I've butchered all of these. Okay, this is the freaking out one again. Is that angry, maybe? Okay, green is two, Ronan is at 19. Let's try angry. 19 plus 13, 29 plus 3, uh, maybe that's the angry emotion. Whoa, who programmed this thing? Does that mean it's right or not? I'm thinking no. I don't know. This is a bleeding. Four, twenty-five, forty. Nice. That's two bags. I promised Mr. Delaney I'd kill three. All right, let's get to it, Nance. Another bleeder. Okay. Blue, nine, twenty-two, thirty-one, forty-six. It's so 
odd that they decided to make this such a complicated process, the developers. Maybe there's a book in here and I just missed it. Four twenty-five. Um We're gonna do panicked. Forty one. That was panicked, so we must have just missed a color or did my math wrong or is that everything? There, all done. Thank God. Okay. Did that. Still have to do that. Okay, go back to the bog. I'm just I'm just excited to get away from the sheep. They're they're driving me they're giving me a headache. Alright, so now we have to go make a doll. Will this be the last doll? I like this one a lot. It makes me laugh. I I it's it's creepy. It has like a big world there's lots of places to explore. Is this where I have to go? I don't remember. Is this the bog? Okay. We have Hagrid's hut. Okay, I made a doll. Can't check that off yet. Okay, now we can go back to the nursery and maybe get this puzzle figured out. Maybe. Big maybe. Should we stop in for a chat with everybody? What's going on? I found out that Mr. Delaney is the one who hid Max luggage. Why would he do that? Apparently, he was adamant that Matt not stay in the nursery, so he removed all of Matt's things and hid them down here, thinking it would force Matt out. That was the day Matt disappeared. Stubborn old loon. Well, then, I guess that just proves this really is all just one big inane practical joke. Matt vanished, thinking we'd find his luggage in the nursery. Unless Denal is lying, and he hid the luggage for some other reason. For crying out loud, Nancy, find Matt before this mystery drives us all loony. Okay. I'll see you later, okay? See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Alright, we'll talk to the wifey. And then we'll do the puzzle. Jeez, it like lagged. Ugh. Here we go. You have a lead? Nope. I'll catch you later. As soon as you find out anything, let me know. Alright. Well. What about this? Is this not a spot? Hmm, it looks like a spot. Okay. Um. Come. Oh, geez. Okay, I feel like this one's the easiest. Maybe we should start here. Big rocking horse. Okay, yeah. 
This one's definitely a pig has to be there. And then cow. Rocking horse has a cat. Just means to the side of, so anywhere on this row. And then the cat has to be directly next. So the cat goes here. Who else has cat? Little boy goes here under the cat. Side of, side of the girl is directly, okay. The girl doll is directly next to the left of a knight. Should be here. I think here. And then is that it? I think so. <gasps> Ooh, dolly. Okay. What's the next artist? This one. I think this is the one we tried to do the other day and we didn't have, we could, just couldn't figure it out. But I understand it more, I think, looking at it now. Um, okay, where should we start? I guess with this. The pig, I guess, has to go here. Right? Okay, what else is related to the pig or the chandelier? Nothing. Okay. Cow and the boy have to be next to each other. The cow is also under... Boy also has to be above this. Okay, I can... I think these are going to take a while. So I think I'm just going to do... I'm gonna look at it, check it, if it's right, you know, whatever, and then I'll just cut the in-between thinking parts. So I'll be back. Okay. First time I did it, it was wrong. Let's see if this time... Ooh. Nice. But is that all I'm gonna get is coins? Because then what's the point? So which one's next? Oh, God. Is it just three? Okay, I will be back. Okay, so we did use this one, did not use this one, this took forever. I think this is the last one, maybe, then why is there that oh. other doll? Creepy. Okay, that's for the printing press, so we're done. Okay. All done. Nice. We got something for the press downstairs, but we still don't really know. I haven't done that. Uh, okay, let's go back to the printing press and see if we can figure anything out with that. Which, this has been throwing me through a loop. Definitely backwards. Can I turn this on? Okay. How do I pick it? I still have no idea what I'm doing. Jetpack? Oh, I get it. I get it. I think I get it. I think... Okay, 
Okay, now we put one there, and then, um, is this the, no. Where's the paper I just had? How do I put my paper that I had? Because I need to, like, print on top of it. I don't understand. Maybe I have to switch the plates before I cure it? Okay. Something's missing. We're missing a plate. I think we're missing a plate. Okay, we're missing a plate is my guess. Running the printer press created something. Not that off yet. Apparently it's for a damn jetpack of all things. Still have to do that. Okay. Be on the lookout for the key that will open the locked box I found in the hut. Turn the dials with the switches, push the buttons to the gizmo I found in the hut. Uh, use the book I got from Mr. Delaney to see what's up with the four pillars. Okay. Uh. I guess let's go to the four pillars because we obviously don't have a key. Where's the map? Void stones. Now, I remember not being able to really figure out much about this at all. Um, it says, use the book I got from him. Okay. So what's this one? I can see the seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. And the constellation. But what is this part? You know? have another book maybe that I can like coincide it with mm. is this it This 
is going to be pretty bad. All right. Um, Mayday? Spring? Okay. So then my guess is we have to spell out one of these names. Are they all using this? Which, uh, God, this is going to take a year. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I looked this up because it is the biggest pain in the butt right now. Is it that one? This one. Yes. I don't even know if this is the right stone for it. Like, what is this? How do I... I can't tell which one was supposed to be which season. But I was guessing that one was summer. And then we're going to guess this one is fall... And if it is, then, oops. Uh, that one. And then, winter, that, that. Wait, I think I've messed this up. I think I messed this up bad already. Even with freaking looking it up. Okay. This one is right. I think. Then... Fall... This one is spring, or winter, I mean. And then this one is spring. Oh no, even with looking it up, we don't know. nothing how are you supposed to determine it from here oh my god okay I'll be back again oh I didn't even realize I was close I was just pushing crap <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure that's like very awkwardly silent. Okay, whatever. Oh, tis convenient. Well, that's kind of what I figured had to be out here. So now we must have all of them. All done. And we can maybe finally freaking. Hmm. Can't check that off yet. I haven't done that. Okay, I just want to know about this jetpack. But I guess let's go finish the printing press stuff. I'm still wondering though, doing it all in black, is that really what we're supposed to do? Or are they supposed to be different? This is not where I wanted to be, oops. Or is there supposed to be um, something different, you know, going on? I don't understand, basically, is what I'm saying.
I didn't see anything that said what we need to do for it. I just, like, okay, so the piece of paper we have right now, do I still have it? See how this is all just filling in black and you can't read it? I'm thinking that we do need to use the different colors. Um, I mean, there's the library area, but I'm pretty sure we looked at all the books. Unless we looked at it and at the time I didn't know what it was for. Because we did that, like, very first thing when we started playing. Um, nothing? Okay. There were books over here. Dang it. I was really hoping there'd be something that would explain, but I thought we did read a book. Am I crazy? Maybe we just took it with us. I check my inventory in a minute, I guess. Hmm. Uh, it's not that. It's not this. Hmm. I don't know what I took. Well, shuckaroonies. I don't know if we should just guess the colors. I guess let's go call my friends. Maybe they'll just give us the answer. I don't know. I feel like I remember seeing something about math. Like, there was a bunch of stuff we had to add. Oh, I think it was the scale. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know if that would... I mean, the numbers are on the plates are ones and zeros, so maybe? I don't know. I'm just going to call my friends and see what they say because I feel really dumb right now. I was ready to cry. The game froze. And okay, I'm going to have to mark that. It scared me so much. Okay, we better save. <laughs> Game is crashing. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to redo the sheep. I'm going to have to redo... Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Well, heart attack averted. Someone has been making dolls in this hut I found on the other side of the bar. The person who ran out in front of your car. That would be my guess. Any idea who this person is? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not the missing broom. It could be someone who knows what's happened to him, though. Just what I was thinking. Just watch yourself, man. Anybody who lives by a bog and spends their time making dolls is probably not exactly running on a full tank, if you know what I mean. I found her draft of the vows Tyler is planning to say at her wedding. Oh, custom written vows are so cute. The problem is, these vows have the words, What am I doing? This is wrong, scrawled beneath them. That can't be good. How do you know she was talking about the wedding? 
Maybe she was just frustrated because she couldn't put her feelings into words. That's true. Did you ask her about you? What's the point? If she is having second thoughts about getting married, she probably won't admit it, seeing as she's failed to mention it before. That's true, too. Wait a minute. You guys aren't suggesting that Kyler is behind Matt's disappearance, are you? I admit, that doesn't make much sense. But it is a possibility. You two are terrible. There were all these sheep running around outside, and guess who had to put them back in their pen? You? Nancy, clearly neither you nor Kyler understand just what a maid of honor is supposed to do. Actually, Mr. Delaney kind of roped me into it. Next time, just tell him no. You should be decorating and painting nails and picking out music for the reception and dyeing shoes to match your dress, not sheep herding. Actually, I sheared a few sheep for him, too. Nancy, a maid of honor should not be shearing sheep. You got to shear sheep? I am so jealous. What am I going to do with you two? I'd better get going. Keep in touch. Later. Later, Gators. Alright, let's see if my man has anything to say. Hey, Nancy. You're missing a great party. Whoa, no more hide and seek, huh? Nope, problem solved. Thanks to Jackson Chen. As soon as he showed up, I glommed onto him, and by default, so did Minky. At which point, I made it very clear that Jackson was unattached to anyone, while I was very much attached to you. Which allowed me to detach myself from the two of them, and walk away a free and happy man. Nice job. Jackson doesn't know what hit him, but he'll get over it. So, how's it going? I found Matt's luggage. Is that good news or bad? I'm not sure. The caretaker says he hid Matt's luggage in order to discourage Matt from staying in the nursery. But Kyler says she saw Matt's luggage in the nursery after Matt disappeared. And if that's true... The caretaker could be up to something. I better get going. It was great talking to you. Just what I was going to say. Bye. Hmm. Well, that was pointless, but I do wonder if we need to check around that table with the scales. I'm going to try that next. It's like binary, right? That's what it's called on the plates. Where's the table? Mm, you know what? The table's in here by all the books. I should have probably checked it. Mm-hmm. Yep. To convert. Use the chart. And then find, okay, binary for J. Okay, I'm gonna look at all the plates, I guess, and convert them. And I'm sure it'll take a few minutes. So I will be right back. Okay, so I looked at all of them, wrote them out, and I think they're all right except for this one yeah this one no no not this one uh, uh this one yeah the big one um i got k oh oh well okay i guess i need to explain okay so i got Y, C, M, which I thought, like, maybe yellow, um, magenta, and how do you say the one color? Cyan, right? Oh. Oh, well, never mind. K is on black. Well, okie dokie then. I think I know what we are doing then. How do I turn this bad boy on again? All right. So I'm assuming we should probably start with black. And maybe I should just make a point to say which color these are. 
because I'm worried I'm gonna get them mixed up. So for yellow, I'm gonna put bronze. Um, and then cyan, I'm gonna put gold. And then silver, I guess. Okay. Get a piece of paper, put it down. Put black down, piece of paper, run it through. See, this looks fine. Put it here to sit. Add bronze with yellow. Okay. I guess. I mean, I guess that's right. Then gold with cyan. I think we're doing it right. Silver with magenta. Is this right? Oh God, I hope it is. Is it right though? I don't know. I I hope it's right. Let me look at it. I just thought she would have said something. I mean, it'd probably help if we looked at whatever these instructions are supposed to go to. But. I don't mm, okay let's just assume it's right we still have it right when we walk away yeah okay so it says there is the bog which I guess we need those for that be on the lookout for the key that will open the lock box I found in the hut Can't check that off yet. that's the issue But I feel like everything now just leads to the hut. So we will go there. And hope for the freaking best. remember where the thing is I found that she's talking about but this is the thing that's locked I mean I just don't remember finding anything wait what is in here I was assuming it was going to be the jetpack but the jetpack wouldn't fit in here where is it jetpack here is there a way to like turn around and oh there is I heard the game loading wait what's this about oh did I already pick it up I better go somewhere out in the open to work on this is that the jetpack? It looked like binoculars. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of these instructions because this is like gonna be a pain to do the back and forth. Uh, take a sideway picture. Okay, step one, spin the circle to the red triangle. 
Step two, number slot must read seven to nine. Press black, this, black. Flip the red one down. Spin the blue to the black triangle. Slide lever to halfway point. Press yellow. Press red. Turn the color dial to red. Okay. Move number dial to four. Flip blue up. Flip yellow down. And press the go button. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm flying! What the hell? This is insane! What are we doing? What's the point? Oh, to go to the tower? How do I get to the tower? Yeah, I'm going up. <gasps> this is insane. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Nancy, what are you doing? Nancy's wild. Isn't this the tower? Oh. Oh my god. That was... So crazy. Hello? Anybody here? Okay, what's going on in this joint? Nautical cartography by Jack Stay. That's it. What's that about? Okay, a family tree. Uh. Alright, let's keep exploring the room. Wait, that's it? That's it in this whole room? No way. Hmm, five letters. Babog, B A B O G, maybe? No. There's not a B as an option. Okay. Solus? No O. What could this be about? Bear? Oh, ooh, it might be spare. Oh, there's no R. Okay, I don't know then. Reaching the bog. I don't know. All done. Well, we got the jetpack working. Did that. Got that done. Can't check that off yet. I wonder why. Um, and then we still need a key. Check. Did that. Fly to the island? Okay, we're going flying, guys. Did I just keep going this way? Uh oh, the game. Oh no, I'm out of power. Oh my god.
she freaking died, bro. Okay, don't go that far north. Is this the island? <gasps> In five. What does that have to do with anything? What the hell is in five? Is this a Mass Effect or Great Value Mass Effect? Well done. You still have to do that. And in that list of books, in five? I don't understand. What did in five have to do with anything? I am so freaking amused by this. Okay. Let's read our notes. When I flew into the castle, interesting stuff about the Malloys who lived there during World War II. Looks like the tower served as their master bedroom. Clues. Okay. Letter keys and then. Okay, so basically we should go to the library. That's also a key. And then it says there's something in the nursery. Do 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 do. This is insane. Nancy Drew has gotten so wild. What's going on? Oh, you know, just flying around in a jetpack. No big deal. I'm just the coolest person at Castle Molloy right now. You know. All good in the hood. Hello? You have a lead? I mean, I got something. Anytime you want to talk, I'll be right here. I have something. Uh, so do I get to look at other books now? I do. One year soon you'll finally join us here. The seats await your notice. Creepy. What did that have to do with anything? Damn it. So that was, oh. What is this? Mm. I don't get it. We had a list of, what was it, three or four books? Maybe I missed. Oh, I did miss something. How do I take these books? Uh, I don't know. Okay, and it also says we still haven't seen everything in the nursery, question mark? Like, still? The heck are we missing? There's bookshelf here. Oh my god. 
Well, let me write that. That might be L A P I N. Maybe that's why it's not marked off. I'm gonna sit and go right back out there then. Oops. L A P I N. It's five letters. Now, can I just use. Okay. I just insta fly around now. I love it. Yeah, it looks like that's an option. Ooh. The game is thinking. Oh. But it didn't open. Oh. What a freaking rip off. I am not good at those doll puzzles. They take me forever. I've already been recording for like two hours. And I, I just, I can, we're at the cusp. We're about to finish it. I can tell. <sighs> What's the one we just got? This one? We don't have this doll right here. We can't do it. This little red-headed one. Ugh. All right, read the books, add on the book list. Uh, what? Okay, where's that piece of paper I had? Oh, um, I think if we, f okay, okay, maybe that's a double lock. So if we find the answer to this one, nautical cartography. And then N5, N5, okay, that's a five. So then... Lapin, the N is at five, but is there another word then, or is this just to get mm. okay? Let's look at the notes in these books and then. I wonder if the five is an N, the, f the fifth letter. Hydroponics, aeroponics, three years into the study, by removing all duplicates, I find that the only true consonant is P. Does that mean remove any letters from this message that appeared more than once? The only remaining consonant. Three. N five three. Okay. I'm gonna guess N and then right now this is trying to find the third letter. So, what is the third letter? 
By removing all duplicates, I find that the only remaining true consonant is Q. I mean, there's a K here. What does it mean here? These are have a lot of I L E. There's an E. Oh, but that's E's a vowel. H. H. T. G. R's. There's no L that repeats. And like here, there is a K, so maybe L or K. I'm gonna just write L or K. I don't even know. I'm gonna write it under the third line that I made. What's the other book say? Uh, can't remember. I thought there were two over here, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Two. Oh, my God. Two. Uh, I don't even, okay, let's not, let's leave this one for last. To our dear friend, one year, okay, one. This must be the first slot. Could be C. The C's await your notice. This C also starts with a C. I'm going to put C. And then if I'm doing this completely wrong, I guess we'll go call our friends and our boyfriend. What's that last book? Where was it? Not that one. What was the other book they mentioned? Is it this one? Actually, yeah, I think it is. Zupaxoscope, animals in motion. Animals abound in a merry round. Seated in the middle can answer the riddle. On legs of four, they spin evermore. So this is the fourth letter. Animals abound in a merry round. Maybe O? Seated in the middle. Oh, seated in the middle can answer the riddle. Seated in the middle can answer the riddle. Seated in the middle. Well, if this is like the one with the duplicate letters, it would be related to over here. How many? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It is an odd number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The X. And then on legs of four. So we're gonna put C blank and then either L or is that a K? I think yeah, it's a K because it was for the word. My handwriting's awful. C blank L slash K X N. Honestly. At this point, since we have at least three of the five, maybe four of the five, we could probably just guess. Because I don't want to do, which one is it? Look at this. That's too much work. <laughs> too much work for me, not in the mood. So we're just going to wing it. Oh my god. Oh 
oh my gosh, she is not happy that we have been flying around. You're not the, wait, what if someone else has a jetpack? Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, let's hope we've been, okay, I see a C, that's promising. C, we don't know this letter, L or K. There's no K, so we're gonna go with L. I'm gonna mark out the K and put an L here. X is on here, that's good. N, yeah, so we just need to figure out this letter maybe. Cute it was. Oh, and here's the last doll. This doll is supposed to be me. Ew. Creepy. Couple keys. I think we just got Fiona. Who's Fiona? How long is this? It's okay. Not too bad. Despite my reservations, Brendan built and gave to Fiona her very own jetpack. Her constant, often tearful pleas for permission to use his had simply become intolerable. Brendan said it would help teach her responsibility, and I must admit, the look of her joy on her face when he presented her with it and her spontaneous, utterly sincere promise to use it carefully forever and ever half convinced me it was a good idea. Besides, Brendan's work keeps us all so isolated here, it breaks my heart to think how lonely and bored she must be. But now she's everywhere, circling the castle, soaring over the bog, venturing out to the islands and back, and since Brendan is harder at work than ever on his liquid propellants, it falls upon me to don his jetpack and keep an eye on her whenever it appears she's getting too adventuresome. Brendan has made my job somewhat easier by fitting Fiona's jetpack with a device that causes it to automatically descend should she try to fall, fly beyond the borders of the castle toward town. Oh, you mean so how I died out in the ocean? That's great. I did. Good job, Mom. The fireworks inadvertently caused by Brendan's test launches have already created enough stir in town where someone to see Fiona arcing across the skies of Valor that would be the end of our happy life here for sure. Fortunately, working at the inn as I do almost nightly, I hear all the rumors and manage to nip those concerning Castle Malloy in the bud by attributing the strange flickering lights some people swear they've seen up here to the activities of fairies, which to many, if not most of our neighbors, is a perfectly reasonable explanation. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Brendan has managed to fool everyone into thinking he's developing a new fuel for armed vehicles. Armored vehicles, not armed vehicles. Oh my god, could you imagine? In fact, he sometimes conducts tours of the false labor laboratory he maintains next to the library in order to support his sub subterfuge. It's the truth of what he's developing in the real lab were ever discovered. I shudder to think of the consequences, so there's a lab somewhere. Oh dear, Fiona just shot by outside the window. Time to brave the jetpack and go see what she's up to. God, just imagine your kid flying around outside. It's hilarious. Okay, we got several keys, though. Or one key? Oh, I picked up two. Oh, yes. We got two keys. Alright, let's save. Uh... And honestly, that's probably good about this. All done. Did that. Yeah, I feel like Did that. maybe it, the last place we need to go is the bog. All done. Oh, no, we need to go to the nursery. <clears throat> Still we need to do that last puzzle, I guess. Don't want to use it. Okay, we have all the dolls. I'm going to attempt this and I will be back. Okay. 
Okay, this under the sheep. Um, um, oh, I hear the game loading. I must have did it. Oh. An Easter egg. But what am I even supposed to do with it? Still have to do that. Oh. It's still saying I haven't seen everything. Well, what is this Easter egg for? Okay. Then what the heck else are we missing in here? Besides creepiness. Is this what we missed? Oh yes, it was so damn important. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well we have an Easter egg. I don't know where we're supposed to wave it around at. Honestly, and I'm sorry, but it seems like all that's left is to go to the bog and probably finish the game. So part of me doesn't even care at this point. I'm sorry. I'm excited. I loved this one. And I want to see who did it. I guess I'm going to guess the old man. I guess. Just because it makes me think of Scooby-Doo. You know, the guy that always says, be careful. Yes, there is a monster. That's who did it. And he's the one that's saying there's fairies and stuff, so... I'm just gonna guess it's him. Okay. So this unlocks with something. One of these keys. Happy sixth birthday to your darling daughter, dear Fiona. You're the light of our life. Our deepest love for you. Always happy birthday, sweetheart. Okay, and then what was the other key? <gasps> Fiona, right? Fiona Malloy? Uh -huh. Fiona, listen. I, I didn't mean any harm. See, I mm -hmm. I'm looking for someone. A young man named Matt. I don't suppose you've seen him. Fiona? <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. So Fiona was flying around with the jetpack being crazy. What happened to her? Oh, this is taking a turn. Uh Did that. Yeah, what about the other key though? Thought there was something else about another key. I hope I have everything I need to beat the game. I hope you get out of here. No, don't touch that. What? No. Not. Well, now you're trapped over there and I'm trapped over here. No wrong then. I guess this is Matt. I take it you're Matt. I'm Nancy Drew, the maid of honor. Thrilled, I'm sure. You wouldn't happen to have a color roll would you? Or food? Do you have any food on you? Or biscuits? Or cookies? Some crisps? Cocoa Kringles? Anything? Oh, sorry. Oh, the only thing that woman in the shabby dress ever gives me are carrots and potatoes and stuff. I've been wandering around down here for days. I want something full of sugar and some nice, greasy fat. You know, real food. She feeds you? Every once in a while, the silo slides open, and she'll be standing up there in the fresh air looking down at me. 
Then I get showered with vegetables, she goes away, and the silence slides back. Whenever I talk to her, she kind of grunts as if she understands what I'm saying, yet she refuses to help me. It's like I'm her stalker or something. And now there's two of us. Dibs on the potatoes. Why did this door shut when I pulled that switch? Dibs on the potatoes. Just like in figure from the pictures and drawings I found, you're standing in the laboratory where the bloke who lived here during World War II did all his top secret research. He was working on new forms of propulsion to be used in flying machines, rockets, that sort of thing. Apparently, to keep unwanted visitors out, he planted devices which would allow him at the push of a button to seal off the light. This gate and all the others will go up when our hostess decides to feed us. Opening those back doors seems to reset everything. Opening those silent doors is also the only way out of here. Believe me, I know. How did you get down here? I stumbled upon the entrance to a secret passage in the nature. So I thought it would be jolly good fun to make some ghostly sorts of noise from inside in this hideout. But all of a sudden, the crow flew in through the window and came straight at my eye. I fell backwards into the passage, trying to get away from it. And the next thing I knew, I was falling through a hole in the floor. Fortunately, I only fell about two meters. So I got to my feet, and since it was dark and my glasses were knocked off when that crow attacked me, I started feeling my way along the wall, looking for a ladder or something so I could climb back up. But instead, my hand took some sort of bracket. The door above me slid shut, and there I was. I yelled until I was hoarse. No use. I was flooded. So I searched my way along the passage, looking for another way out, until I got to the lab you're standing in. At which point, I blundered into the button you just pressed, siren goes off, door comes down, and suddenly I'm even more trapped. Not long after that, the door to the top of the silo slid open. And by squinting really hard, I could see an old woman with long hair, wearing a long rashy dress set extended, looking down. I called to her, told her who I was and what had happened. I told her everything. Called to her till I went hoarse again. She just stood there. I even tossed my ring up to her, saying, Go ahead, keep it, just get me the heck out of here. For a while, Kit was convinced you disappeared because you had decided you didn't want to marry Kyler after all. I'm not surprised. The fact is, soon after we resulted, he tried to tell me I was about to make a colossal mistake and that I could call off the wedding. Such wishful thinking on his part is exactly why I didn't ask him to be my best friend. So I made up some excuse about office politics and occupational expediency, but Kit was, and is, and hopefully always will be, my best friend. But having him be my best man, knowing he's still smitten with Kyla, I figured I'd pass it. Hmm. Mr. Delaney, the caretaker? He thinks you were spirited away by fairies. <laughs> you know, I actually miss that superstitious, super ridiculous old bottle. Kit and I spent the better part of an evening reading blind in the garden so we could fool him into thinking a leprechaun was moving through the bushes. Only a branch snapped off and whacked Kit in the eye and then back to Except I must admit, seeing as I had no idea who or what I was seeing, Mr. Delaney might not be all that wrong. I'm pretty sure her name's Fiona. She's the daughter of Brenda Malloy, the guy who was doing all the research down here. Everyone thought she was killed, along with her parents, when this place exploded. But she wasn't, and she's been wandering around in the bog near the castle ever since. So, if our wedding ever does take place, it looks like I'll end up with a crazy in-law after all. Kyler's trying her best not to show it, but she's really worried about you. That's the worst of it. Knowing that my eagerness to play a silly prank on her is going to wind up ruining the wedding. She's going to be so disappointed and humiliated and appalled. She'll never forgive me. What a she about it. I love her so much, and I am so lucky a mongrel like me finding someone as smart and beautiful as her. And now, whether I ever get out of here or not, I'm going to lose her. What an unthinking, short sighted, irritable. Well, I'm going to go find us a way out of here. You do that. He just is like, bye, sucker. Okay, I'm assuming this is the last place in the game. So 
Okay, we need that. Wait, are we building a rocket? Oh my god. Are we building a dang rocket? Am I gathering all of these or just one at a time? Oh. Damn you, game. Okay, no, just back back it up. Put it in reverse, Terry. Okay. Oh no, science. Okay, let's 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 look at that more once we know what's going on. Oh god, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna die. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not creepy. It's not creepy at all. How do I? I wanted to read this board. I don't think I can. I guess not. Okay. So, chemicals. What is this? Oh my god. Is this the rocket? We have to build a rocket. Oh my god. We're so dead. <laughs> We're so, so dead. We're never getting out of here, Matt. Sorry. Okay, so we need to build the top of the rocket. Um. Okay. And I'm guessing... What is this? Oh. Oh, we have to build stairs? Or... I mean, the big ones were there. Look at me. I just killed it. Freaking genius. Move over, Nancy Drew. Wifey Wells in town. Is that the top of it? I don't know. Sweet. Now we just need to do some sort of science-y, chemical-y, try not to die -y. Oh wait, well there's this too. Is this like an obvious thing? Okay, alright, okay. Um, we need a piece of each as well. I don't know why. Alright, um, research notes. Let's look at these again now. Since we kind of know what we are up against. Okay. Is this the colors that we need? Let me take a picture of that. Let's go back. Okay, yellow and black. I mean, is this how you 
do it. Like, just assume four is from here. Because this is a mess. Oh, and then blue and black. Wait. Green and pink. I'm confused. Never mind. I don't think I know what I'm doing with that. Only fin type one is successful. What does that mean? Propellant has been installed. This looks important. Insert safety key, power on, flip switch, check continuous green light, indicate to correct wires, arm rocket with second switch. Okay. Um, I feel like, like, what is this? How do we, oh, what is that? Wait, what's this? Did you know there was a button here that says, in case of lockdown, press to open? What? You mean something must have opened up a way to escape it right under my nose the whole time? That's solid. If I get out of here, I'm having that eye surgery. My weak stomach will just have to get over it. We still don't know what those pieces are for. Wait. You think you could, like, look at this? Like, do I make chemicals here, or do I make it... here category one and then mm, okay um so I have no idea what I'm doing is basically what I'm saying so I looked up a guide and scrolled to the bottom and sure enough it looks like we're at like the last thing. Um, I just, uh, uh, yeah, category one, it says we need to make the chemicals go together. Like, Welp. Even with the guide, we're gonna die. What did I do wrong? Knocked it? Do you have to, like, carefully... <laughs> Oh boy. Oh man. Nancy's not solving this case today, is she? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> I don't get how you're supposed to avoid 
maybe we just have to slowly clear them out from what's in front of you to what's not. Okay, well then let's look at the first thing. NH3 is category 1. Oh, there's an inch three right here. Okay. Um. Okay. This is so bad. Click, 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 click. How do I get it away? Okay, this is, where does H2O go? H2O is category two, but there is a little baby H in the way. Oh, thank God. Okay, little baby H is also category one. Oh my god, if I mess this up, do I have to redo all of it? Imagine. HG, is that in the way? Maybe. We should probably get that I. I is category two. HG is category three. So HG is just gonna have to sit there and chill. Little H. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. Please don't make me redo all of it. Please don't make me redo all of it. Please don't make me redo all of it. Oh my God. Oh, phew. What did I do wrong with the H? Did I touch it? Like, did I go too fast? Did I hit it wrong? I don't know what I did. I, I have no idea. But, okay, at least that's, that shows that we, um, it saves after each chemical, thank God, because could you imagine? Honestly, this is kind of fun just because it's like nerve wracking and it's definitely a puzzle fit for the end of the game. My dumbass couldn't figure it out. So I didn't even know what they wanted. I was like, bruh. <laughs> okay. Um, little baby H can we get this little baby H. Well, you guys are probably bored, aren't you? I'll, um, God, I'll go through and do all of these and I'll be back in five hours. All right, this took over half an hour. I died probably 20, 25 times. I do not know where I need to put this key. This is what kept tripping me out. The, the size chemicals, it looks like you're going to bust the chemical. Like I kept trying to grab them from here, but nope, you have to be up here and then bam. But where the hell do I put this key? Where do I take it? I, I don't know. Oh, well that works. Okay, we got the key. Uh, let me pull my guide back up. because my mother also called while I was doing that. Okay, got it. Store the chemicals. Large and small containers, three bins, it did that. Chalkboard. The angle of the rocket is 90.1. There are three types of fins. Check the rocket. Climb the ladder, missing a cone, got that. 
Ladder. Click on the ladder. We did that. Fins. Look at the base of the rock and see that there are no fins attached. Go back to the sink area and check the buckets under the table for any kind of fins. Take the fins in the middle bucket. Okay. Got it. Uh, open the box at the base oh, of the locker. Well, sure. This box? Okay, yellow goes to gray. I wish it said the number. Oh, wire one to the fourth from the top. Red circle at the left. Okay, that's a better description. Wire two, second from the top. Wire three is orange. Wire four is yellow. And wire five. Okay. But what about the fins? Oh, place the fins at the base of the rocket. Okay. Is it done? Blast off. Do the launch preparation. Stated in the last page of the work log. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? Like, what are these keys and stuff for? I kind of skim read it. Take the rocket key. Oh, I bet it's for the launching thing. This. Oh god, I'm so scared. Okay. Look close at the control stand. Insert the hard one safety key. Um, this one. Insert the into the keyhole at the right. Okay. Turn the dial to ninety point one. Okay. Flip the left switch to see if it's a green light. It is. Flip the middle switch to arm the rocket. Flip the right switch to launch the rocket, and then it says, see you in the Bahamas at Ransom of the Seven Ship, and watch the outtakes at the end of the credits. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> he looks like a gremlin. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's creepy. She's just a creep, isn't she? Oh, he's like, dang it, my best friend's not dead. I love you. Do you hear me? I love you. By the time Kit came back with a ladder, Kyler had said I love you to Matt approximately 150 times. And Matt had said it to Kyler about 200 times. And they were still saying it to each other on the day of their wedding four days later. Even Kit remarked that Matt's little misadventure seemed to have been good for their relationship. Needless to say, this bum kid out until he met the very beautiful young Irish woman who catered the reception. <laughs> it's like a real Long girl just short, plopped it looks in. Like it will soon be returning to Ireland, and not just to sketch plans for potential housing development. As for Mr. Delaney, he still can't accept the fact that the strange wail I kept hearing wasn't a banshee, but an old siren that Matt kept inadvertently setting off down in the tunnel. Nor is he clear on the fact that Fiona, whose jetpack was also a source of weird noises, was responsible for many of the strange phenomena he'd always attributed to fairies. But he understood immediately that Fiona was someone in need of compassion and helped the police take her into custody without incident. Apparently, after the explosion killed her parents, Fiona was taken in and raised by an old hermit who lived alone in the bog hut. 
which did not exactly do wonders for the little girl's mental or emotional development. But she's getting lots of attention now, and she's so bright. After all, her father was a rocket scientist, that her prognosis is actually pretty good. Me, I'm on my way back to the States, via jet plane, not jet pack. My pack and Fiona's were quickly confiscated by military types, bent on adapting them for use on the battlefield. Unfortunately for them, Brendan's intricate fuel system has them completely and hopelessly stumped, which has no doubt made Fiona's crow and all its feathered friends very happy. They finally have the skies above Castle Malloy all to themselves. Uh... Did I get it right? Cool. I just guessed. Oh, for answering the question correct. Damn it. Winning all levels in Difference Detective. Seeing into the future. Good use of colors. Honesty hearing. Screen time. Huh. I don't know. Alright, let's see these credits When my stuff. best friend Bess Marvin wins a vacation for three at a resort on a private island in the Bahamas, she naturally invites me and her cousin, George Payne, to go with her. But by the time I arrive, the owners of the resort are nowhere to be found. And Bess has been kidnapped. To get her back, George and I must find a long lost treasure. A quest that brings us face to face with many of the island's strange inhabitants. And forces us to risk our lives, both on and in the sea. Help us find the treasure before this sun-drenched paradise turns deadly. In my next adventure, Ransom of the Seven Ships. Meh. <laughs> Just from the description, I'm like, meh. Okay, so it says at the end of these credits, there are some outtakes or something? Um, I don't know if I just click, if it'll skip to them, or if it'll take me to the main menu. So we're going to have a little chit-chat, you and I, while we wait for the credits to roll through. So I am not very impressed with the look of the Ransom of the Seven Ships, but you know, looks can be deceiving. I guess I just have a bad taste in my mouth from um, number 15, The Creature of Kapu Cave, which took place, you know, kind of in the same kind of setting. It kind of really sucked, <laughs> so we'll see. But, um, Oh, I wonder if these green stars are, are achievements. Because, yeah, I had the first few, and then that's interesting. Well, anyway. um, This one, though, I loved. Love the music, love the screaming, love the ghosts, love the jetpacks, running around like a crazy person, collecting sheep. I loved this one. Some of the puzzles were horrid. Like, um the bog water, trying to get to the, the bog hut awful freaking awful as all heck and then ugh, the runes that i had to look up the four pillars awful but then some of the other ones were just like super easy and straightforward uh, the characters are memorable the story was memorable i was not expecting that fiona twist at all I still think though, freaking riding in a jetpack, insane. I loved it, would definitely play this one again. I also want to figure out what to use for the Easter egg. I've never seen outtakes for this game before. I guess that's what we're about to do, huh? It's kind of quiet. Oh, it's like when Toy Story and Pixar made fake outtakes. Please, 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 please. Oh, surprise! 
Um, that was cringy as hell. <laughs> I mean, they tried, I guess. Oh boy. All right. Well, with that, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you being a web watcher and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.